Hey everybody, One Board Chap here. Welcome back to episode two of Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're gonna get stuck in here and pick up where where we left off after we left Scallet. So um, we last left, we were transported by Teresa. So uh, before we get started, though, I just want to I noticed we didn't really do it last episode. I want to just quickly go through the skills that we picked up. Um, we're not gonna do anything with main level yet. Uh, we will get to that probably in this episode. If not, then definitely the next episode. But uh, strength, this is what we're working with. Uh, we have all three levels of mule. Dreadful, just kind of makes your opponents flee, uh, or more likely to flee. Headcracker, obviously, you can knock them out. Uh, it's a 10% chance, but it does come in handy. Some people say it makes it's a little OP, but um, I find that it doesn't activate too much. So, And then tight grip, you uh, lose less stamina on the weapon backs, back swings, so a little bit helpful there. Agility-wise... Uh, featherweight, just uh, so we take less fall injury. I don't really care for fast striker and light armor, but we'll probably just unlock them when we have max agility points, just because why not? But um, taunt for uh, lowering opponent's morale and perfect throw, because I do quite enjoy dice. And then vitality is max. We've got everything here except balance diet and marathon man. Um, really, I would say the takeaways here are sprinter, uh, thick blooded, and. Uh, honestly, I'd probably say Revenant are probably the most important. Human Dustbin as well. If you find yourself having a hard time with the food systems. Speech, we only have Highborn. This is definitely something we want to get up, though. We definitely want to unlock Silver Tongue. Combat-wise, not much going on here. No points in defense yet. Warfare, we have 9. And we have Blood Litter and Sadist. And these two kind of play off of each other. So Blood Litter gives you a higher chance to draw your opponent's blood. And Sadist gives you a plus 1 strength bonus when you do draw blood. No points in Axe yet, or Mace, but we will be working on those. Bow is 18, can't do anything with that. And then the Sword, we do have one point available, but we're at level 11. Um, and we took the first Short Sword 1, and then two Long Sword skills. We'll probably just unlock this Double Stab as well. And then Unarmed, we don't have really much going on there. Alchemy, we will increase Drinking... Not much going on here, so we will probably unlock Beer Bibber when we can. Uh, just because wine is more common, and that'll help us increase our drinking level. Herbalism, we definitely went over in Episode 1. Horsemanship's not really that important, either as Houndmaster. Um, hunting. Antlers. Tanner. Uh, really, the most important ones, I think, are Forester and Steak Tartar. This one allows you to just eat raw meat. Forester gives you some bonuses when you are um, in the woods. And then... Wild at heart will make wild animals less skittish when you're close. Lock picking, we want to level up. Maintenance as well. Maintenance is very important. And we will talk about that as we level it up. Pickpocketing, also kind of important. Um, reading, we can reveal the whole map with the perks here, so we definitely want to level that as we can. There's a lot of stuff here to level. And then stealth, we've already got some important points. So we're good there. Right, so that's all of our skill points sorted so um, we're gonna go ahead and just get started here so first things first we're gonna go talk to Miller Peshek and get the quest from him because we want to be able to sell the gear that we brought so let's just speed through this here with you. all right so we've got the quest here for the good thief we've got to go uh, steal a ring so let's go grab the shovel my shovel all right so we've gone ahead and we are ready to set out towards uh, the executioner's house and we've went ahead and just equipped ourselves with some armor just some light items here <laughs> not really light we're a little armed uh with a saber we don't have a long sword unfortunately we also managed to uh while repairing the items uh, that we're wearing pick up another level of maintenance and we were able to get our first perk points so we went ahead and took uh the seven mile boots so we get that 20 percent return on our stamina when we repair our boots so that pairs up well with sprinter and we just essentially get 20% uh, faster uh, sprinting. You don't have to dig up the body, you can just go straight to the Executioner and talk to him. Nothing on the left hand. The right. 
Oh shit, there's nothing there either. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict and um, this convict um, was a family man. He left three young children and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. So he wants 20 groschen for the ring. It's not even worth that. I'm just going to say I'm not interested. Thanks, but I'm not interested. I saw I tried to get him out of the house. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should not suspicious at all. That rogue. How much is Oh, we got a speech level. Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. There we go. There's the ring. Yeah, see, it's worth nothing. Be on his way back then. Okay, so we managed to retrieve the ring uh, by stealing it from the executioner and not paying him for it. So we'll just take it back to Peshek, cash in on this quest, and then we can start selling some of our forcefully requisitioned goods that nobody from Scalots is going to miss. Except the people who respawned from Scalots in Ratai. And the guards. Day. I'll have that ring for you. Good. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. You'll buy stolen goods from me. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. Try stealing my dagger. All right, so now I'll pick, try to pickpocket here and learn this skill. There we go. That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Right, so the next thing, now that we've finished that, I want to sell some of this stolen armor to him, just get a little extra Groshen. All right, let's, uh, we're definitely going to want all those. I'm going to just throw this treasure map in as well, because we're definitely going to have enough armor to, you know, sell that to him. So uh, let's sort by equipped. And let's just go find all the stolen stuff first. All right, so we've almost made a profit here. There we go. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. That's all of his gold. All right, so now we've got around 2k gold after selling that stuff. We're just gonna run up into Ratai here and uh, go ahead and start the next part of the main quest called Awakening. We gotta go talk to Sir Radzig, get the horse as soon as possible, just so that we have the storage options. Because uh, one of the first things I want to do once we have the horse is go around and get stuck into some thieving. I want to raise those skills a little bit more, um, especially the lock picking. I'm actually quite surprised I didn't seem like we have a bounty here yet. We know we killed everybody in Scalots, I'm surprised. This is the first time I've ever seen not having a bounty. Although this is a little sketchy. Here we go, let's see. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? Okay, no, this is scripted. I'm Henry, son of the Scalots blacksmith. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? You think I'm a coward, do you? Oh, the pup's got teeth, has he? Go right ahead. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. To Show me what you have on you. Light. Get going. Why? Okay, we immediately get searched for no reason. Such are my orders. Yeah, go ahead. If you insist. This is stolen, damn what? it! And I'm pretty too. sure didn't have anything stolen you on can me. Leave that right here. Now. I'm interested to see you what I had. What did I part ways with? <laughs> I have no idea what I lost. I don't think I lost anything. Groucheon's the same. Uh, still the same amount of lockpicks. Food. I only had to save your snaps. Uh, 
All the armor looks the same, the weapons the same. I have no idea what homie's talking about, whatever. Stop right there. I have to search you. Again? <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? Such are my orders. Oh, it's because you don't have a torch. If you insist. Let's see what happens. All's well. Alright, <laughs> let's get out here where we get searched again. Oh, you know what? They might have taken... Oh, no, they can't, because it's a quest item. I, guys, I generally, genuinely have no idea what items they took that were stolen. I was very thorough making sure I had no stolen goods on me, so I have no idea. All right, so we will have ourselves a little bit of a rest here. Sleep through the night, since we're still kind of tired from our adventures. And then we're going to wake up and get started with the rest of the quest. Alright, so we just made it to Are the main gates again and we're being searched again. What? Such are my orders. As you wish. All's well. <laughs> this is insane. That's the third search. Wanna search me? No? That's weird. Alright. Good day to you. What do you need? What do you think? I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then. That's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Uh, we already know a few things. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine, we'll try something more advanced then. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Fine enough. Let's try something more advanced. Hey, that's it. All day, boy. Not bad. Good. Good. Very good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. Uh. Nice. Uh. Not bad. Ow. Good. Uh. Hey, that's it. Well done. Captain Bernard. Wait a while, Henry. Good greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. And the last thing for today, a trick. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn short. archery. That was really low. Even organized These training bows are horrible, and, and the training arrows. Not enough talk. Try to get a feel for the rhythm, then release the string. No there you go, two bullseyes. As if you were about There's to a third. back more. Aiming at the target, fly drops quickly. So fast you won't see them. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? <laughs> Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. All right, let's let's take this bow. There we go. Ooh. I think we get an extra two or three points. Uh, yeah, three. Uh. <laughs> Three points for the first to finish. We're doing pretty bad. <laughs> I've hit 20, like 21 on this before. Let's see what he's hitting. 
So he's at three or six. Really need to line this shot up. There we go. There's a bullseye. Okay, even if he hits two, he's not going to beat me here. So, especially with that. There we go. Give me that bow, boy. You suck. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. Yeah, it probably just wasn't your day. You I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Yeah. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you <laughs> owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight? I lost you, owe me. If you like. So, Hans, is this necessary? You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right. Let's beat this guy down. <laughs> Headcracker. Oh, okay. He beat his neck lunch. And that one. Our sadist activated. There we go. Easy, easy mode. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. Must be I'll get the better of you every time. Right. You can keep my bow. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I hope he has. <laughs> Just Watch doubling down it, on this. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. My respects to you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, bailiff. We're going to ask him who can teach me to read. We'll pick up this quest here. The who should I go and see? Mightier than the sword, retired I think. tired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Well, well, well. That's right. Keep on walking. Don't say nothing. Yeah, that's right. Come on, Grandpa. Let's go. I need to get my gear. Have you come from the bailiff? <laughs> I have. Where's, uh... <laughs> There's supposed to be a guy here to give me gear. Where's homie at? <laughs> well, this is awkward. Can I pick any of these? Nope. All right. Oh, is it this guy? Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Ah. Come on now. Well, that's weird. It's kind of glitched out, isn't he? I was told to pick up a kit. All right, here. now we're here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. All right, let's see what they gave us. Yeah, uh, we'll throw that helmet on. We don't need this padded armor. I think what we have on is better. Yeah. Uh, I guess we could put this padded coif on. It doesn't really matter. Now we are off to meet Nightingale at the church. All right, so we are almost there. Where is he? Normally, hey, there he is. We're supposed to go on patrol together? We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? In the tavern. He was thirsty. Come on, Henry. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <laughs> <laughs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Let's have a drink. That fool got me all worked up. <laughs> How about a little game? Why not? Why, oh, why did I ever agree to this? I'll lose my shirt again. <laughs> he, he offers, and he's like, oh, why did I ever do this? This'll be the one. I don't believe it. <laughs> the voice acting in here is so good. Hmm. Oh, no. Ooh. This will be. The <laughs> oh, one. he's really go for it. I think it's a two. I shouldn't oh, have it's a it. six. Two thousand exactly. I'm done with. <laughs> he's. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Let's just ring the spell here. What would happen to me? Go get in a bar fight. 
And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! Fuck! <laughs> I don't want to get stuck in that clinch loop here. Beat him down. <laughs> jab, jab. Untouchable. What in the name of Christ is happening here? You can go hunting. You can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. Get out of my sight. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. I just keep getting promotions for doing the wrong thing. It's been a long journey. Go back and sleep. We'll wake up and then uh, get moving on this next part of the quest. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Let's go. Yeah. Hurry up, blacksmith. This is the worst part. Just walking. Walking, walking, walking. This is so dragged out. So, pro tip for you guys. I didn't know this until now, but um, pro tip. If you don't want to be stuck hoofing it all the way to the camp like I am now, don't run ahead of uh, Sir Hans. I was trying to skip all the dialogue and just get to the cutscene where it takes me there. Um, and yeah, it just failed the quest and I have to run all the way there. But I guess it's not all bad because now here I am at the herbalist and I can get some things. Good morning. I knew we'd come to an agreement. Alright, 660. So we have the Bane Potion recipe now. Alright, here we are arriving on foot at the hunting site. We probably have to pass a bit of time waiting for Hans Capon to get here. He's here, okay. <laughs> Where's the wine? <laughs> it skipped the prompt for uh, bringing wine and bacon. At long last. What are we going to hunt? Cumin. What? Cumin? But... <laughs> <laughs> you should see your face! It's time to set off. The patron saint of hunters, of course. Let's go! We'll meet back here at noon. Okay, so this is really interesting because it's noon. <laughs> it's noon. It's broken. The quest seems to be <laughs> quite bugged, so we've got to wait for Sir Hans here. Uh, so I guess it basically skipped the hunt? Is what happened. So I guess uh, you can hoof it on foot if you want. Run away from Hans if you want to skip all the hunting up there. <laughs> you can see all the objectives are just completing. That's really interesting. I didn't know that that Show would happen. Me what you've got, then. How many bunnies have you taken down? Uh, none. So it looks like we're as bad as each other. <laughs> Neither of us went. <laughs> Let's go and hunt some real game. Oh, and you get a reputation gain for not uh, catching any. So I wonder if you get that if you uh, uh, catch any. I didn't haven't paid attention to that take some of these better hunting arrows. There's only 10 of them and that's plenty for the encounter. Just like that. Slow and quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. So, next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... Mount up, Henry. Chase down that swine. Let's go find ourselves some humans. This is rather odd. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's a poacher. Hey, get out oh. of here! This is no place for the likes of you. Oh yeah, he's a poacher. All right, let's just fight him. Seems like he wants to fight. What the? That's interesting that this all is like stolen. Very interesting. Trying to jump so I can try to see over the trees and see the tarp. I'm having a hard time finding this. Okay, it must be at the top of the zone, I guess. Whoa, that's a big deer. Yeah, sure, why not? This sort of. There we go. There it is. Okay. 
Oh, that went right above his head. How unfortunate. <laughs> Just you wait, you oh, no. I'll have you yet. Interesting that the second one hasn't come out yet. Okay, well that's that. We get a strength level. And let's prepare for... Oh, he's going to get a bow out. No, come on, we want a sword fight. We should have sword fight with the first one. <laughs> Run back and forth. Oh, you missed. Nice try, buddy. All right, yeah, get your sword out. We're, we're doing this. We're going to dance in front of uh, Hans. Oh, man, Hans is... He's giving them the biz from the tree. Let's see if we can hit a combo. There we go. Nice, nice. Just you wait, donkey's ass. I'll have you yet. I've never hit these combos before. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Come and untie me before the life gets crushed out of my balls. Now, where'd this first guy die? Okay, he's got a shield. Can we find his weapon? I'm kind of interested in the sabers in this playthrough, but I need to find it first. Although, we shot him, and he fell over. Okay, yeah, here it is. Nicopolis saber. I don't think those are particularly good, but we already have a hundred plus on us from those. The um, poacher we killed, so we're not going to take all that. We're just going to take whatever is over 200. The huge. We'll take these mushrooms, too. We'll just loot everything we can here. We'll just leave Hans tied up, though. What we got? Me, the money. Oh, that's not bad. Alright. I gotta find another saber. Where would it have gone? Oh, it's it's very funny. I'm gonna do this too. Here you go. You can get a good look at him. He's real mad that we're not untying him, but it is what it is. Play stupid games, you know you win stupid prizes. Your prize just so happens to be being tied up by your psychotic friend. <laughs> just killed two men and is now running around their camp, picking every mushroom in sight. <laughs> Human bow, I will take that. And the wounding arrows as well. Alright, he really didn't have much. So where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! <laughs> I say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. I could have you in the pillory for that, and then with my own two hands, I'd crush your balls. <laughs> You'll have to get me home somehow. It's Lord Capon. Get here, everybody. You help him. You sent for me, sir. Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your league. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Thank you, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible.